think it probably depends upon the individual circumstances to take that into account. I agree with Ian that real estate is always a good investment. And the home that you buy today certainly doesn't need to be, and it's probably not going to be your forever home. But what that home does is it helps you have a stepping stone because it's really difficult to save up, you know, a hundred thousand dollars. But if you buy a starter home or even a condo and live there, first of all, you're going to have a fixed rent amount, if you will, or a fixed mortgage amount, whereas your rent year over year is going to go up. So you'll always know what your payment's going to be. But beyond that, you'll also be building equity. So when it comes time to buy your forever home or to take the next step into a larger home or a family home, you'll have the equity that you've built up over time from that house when you sell it to roll into a future property. So, and I think that's a huge help. And I know um, having worked with a number of first time home buyers and some who have waited, they may have had some regrets that they rented for as long as they did, because at that point when they went to buy, they were like, well, how are other people my age affording, you know, to buy $500,000 houses? Well, simply put, it's because instead of renting and essentially paying off someone else's mortgage, those people were living in a condo that they had purchased and building equity. So then when it came time to buy the larger house, they had the money from what they put into the house they were living in to roll forward. So I think it's definitely a good idea if you can afford to. And that's certainly something that you have to analyze on a case-by-case basis. And I know that myself and Ian are very hands-on and we're also, um, we look out for our clients and we very much consider ourselves fiduciaries. So we can kind of help you assess whether or not it makes sense to buy or if maybe you should consider waiting for a little while.